we are going to ask two, three questions to the people that are taking, uh, bringing the work of uh, Joop Lange further. And their names are Michiel Heidenreich of Farm Access and uh, Onno Schellekens of the Amsterdam Health and Technology Institute. I'll, but then switched around, but anyway. And switched around. I managed to mess up that even. So Michiel Heidenreich of the Amsterdam Health and Technology Institute and Onno Schellekens of Farm Access. Yeah. There you go. What do you do and how did Joop's work, how is it carried on? Uh, we do treatment programs in Africa, and um, I think it's good to, when you look at uh, Joop's history, um, to share some facts here and also to understand his political motivation and why he was so a guy of action. He started uh, with mother child, child transmission studies in 1995, mm -hmm. and um, at that moment, again, nobody wanted to do those studies to finance it and anything like that. Because on the moment there is a solution, uh, you have to address the problem. So uh, at that moment, um, they did the trials, they pushed it through, and they let the mothers die. Okay. Yeah, and it is still today at the US universities, Ivy League universities, one of the de ethical cases. Then he noticed that everybody was treated uh, in the West and nobody in Africa. Mm -hmm. So he started this organization called PharmAccess to do trials. And his big thing there, I think, was that. How is it possible that everybody is treated in the West and nobody in Africa? And uh, uh, his conclusion was it's a, it's a political issue. You know, Nobody wants to know that they have to pay uh, so much money. Nobody, not here, not there. So he just said, uh, and in, one -liner, in a one-liner, I think, for the people in the, in, in, in the audience, um, medication, and in Dutch, uh, Pillars zijn alleen uh, for flickers and not for niggers. And with that slogan, he really, really changed a lot and medication became available. I, I'm sure that today he would say on Ebola, the best thing that can happen is that a couple of people would die in Manhattan and look how fast the solution would be there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid it might happen, right? Um, that's the work you are still carrying on, bringing medicine to <laughs> yes, Africa? Yes, healthcare to the poor. Healthcare yeah. to the poor. What about the institute? Um, the institute, there are two ex institutes, and actually the, the one for global health and development. That's actually, Joop was a professor. I mean, he, is an, uh, he works in academia, but he was a special researcher. He, in my opinion, he combined uh, um, vision, his in-depth knowledge of HIV, and courage. And that's actually always have been a combination of, of research and treatment. In the early days, actually, research was the only way you could treat people in those areas, and, and we, we try to carry that on, so we always try to do research which solves big problems and, and focus on new problems. So, and that can be on the technology side, but it can also still be on very old problems which still need to be solved. Well, one of the areas that you are very interested in is innovation and the use of technology in uh, spreading access to healthcare. And, and you mentioned an example where we could actually learn of the developments in Africa. Could you explain a little bit of what's going on that we could learn from? Uh, yes, but it's, I think it's better in this case that Onno explains this certain aspect because it's Farm Access who is in the lead uh, on, the, on this. No, we're, 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 I think there is a revolution going on in Kenya, yeah. an unprecedented revolution, uh, where people are using uh, mobile phones to pay to each other, especially the poor. So today, 50% it's estimated of the GDP, the gross domestic product, people SMS to each other. <coughs> mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's one of those things that is going to change the world here. Google, IBM, GE, all of these big companies are looking at this now in Kenya. But it has a massive, massive potential also for the poor and healthcare. Because, you know, why should you not be able here in this room to, S to SMS somebody in Kenya in the poor slums an HIV AIDS treatment or a, uh, a vaccination for kids or anything like that? And that is going to happen. It will happen. So, We're very yeah. glad to hear it. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you.